Jay. Yeah. You answer the riddles. Yes. <laughs> yes. And it would be good. <laughs> and it yes, would be very anything good. Anything for you. <laughs> Thank you. Bloodthirsty aliens landed on Earth. Why are they thirsty for blood? Why did they gotta come to Earth to be? Do oh, oh my god. Oh, look at them. <laughs> Just like, yoink! They're trying to take control of the planet, and you've managed to hide in the basement of a building. There are ten strangers and a dog with you. <laughs> There's ten strangers and a dog. <laughs> you have a small amount of water and food. That won't last long. Oh, Ooh, no. This is interesting. This is interesting. It is. You want to run away from the town to a remote area where the aliens won't find you. Now you'll have to decide who you will take with you. All of them? A, with that little amount of food? I don't think so. One to two, the strongest and most stable people? Yeah! <laughs> You're gonna punch those aliens in the face! C, come on now. <laughs> <laughs> Jay doesn't like people. Or D, go alone. <laughs> I'm gonna take somebody else's dog with me. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna take the dog too because like that looks like a that looks like a, a nice dog, like a police trained dog, and I could be like, kill him, kill him. Is that food over there? Like you know in Fallout where you ask the dog to go do something? Yeah, it's gonna be like stuff. that. Yeah. I'm taking the dog. So A, it's hard to come to an understanding with a large group. Like, have you ever been on vacation exactly. with a large group? It's a mess. C, it's barking can draw the alien's attention. So leave the dog what? to die. Aw, all right, fine then. You'll also have to share food with it. You have to share food with other humans. D, it's hard to survive alone. So what you do is you take the two strongest, most able-bodied people. So how do you determine who's the strongest? They all fight to death? You look at their muscles. Uh, you, you look, look at, at their, their muscles. muscles. Sally lived in a remote village. Oh, it looks like me. Okay, does that make her special? Yeah, it does, actually. When she grew up, look at her. This is me! I wish I could grow like that. That's <laughs> she you? Grew, yeah, she grew up fast. She went that to a ugly. big city to find a... Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, listen. She once had a dream, so she packed up and split for the city, and she soon found out that her lonely life wasn't so pretty. She had very little money, so she had to rent a room in the house of a mad lady. Why is it always gotta be a mad lady? You know, the mad ladies are for a discount, so you go for the mad lady. <laughs> the owner forced Sally to give all documents to her. Uh-oh. That's not good. That's not right at all and locked them in one of the rooms. And there's a code here and everything. I know. Mad Lady got like the high tech stuff. That's where Mad Lady's putting all the rent money. <laughs> all rooms in the house were locked with combination locks. Ooh, intense. Sally decided to get her papers back as soon as possible. She found a list of codes. Oh, oh no. <laughs> she didn't know which code opened the door. Well, I mean, it's one out of four. Just try them all. When the owner went shopping, the mad lady. She went mad shopping. <laughs> Sally decided to sneak into her room. Ooh, bad girl. Ooh, she's sneaking right in. <laughs> she was trying the codes. And then she was wrong and it was locked down and she was shot. <laughs> when she saw the old lady coming back, Jay, she's got to oh, run. Oh, no, she forgot something. <laughs> Sally has only one attempt to open the door. Which code should she use? Uh, yeah. I get it. I get it. Okay, what? The numbers are different. Uh -huh. You see how like some of them are faded, some of them are really bold, so that means oh. they haven't been touched. Oh, you right. Oh, Jay, what the right? heck? I right. You right. You right. I right. Oh, you right. Okay, five one nine four. Wow, first middle right? of the day. I right, guys. Yeah, she, he right. He right his wrongs. Okay, so since I said that, what do you think it is? Five one nine four. Five one nine four. Yep. Because it's been touched. Yeah, because it's been touched by an angel. It's been touched. It's okay. been touched. Well, that's the power of teamwork, everybody. It is. It is. Even though you did. I the said whole they've thing. been touched. She knew which ones were touched. <laughs> yeah, I always know what got That's touched. That's why we're buds. She knows what's been touched. Yeah, okay, we were right. Next. Yeah, <laughs> next. <laughs> you don't even know how to read why? This combo includes all these numbers. Yeah, and it was touched, okay? We've been talking, we've been having a discussion about that. Dun, 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 dun. Patrick called the police late at night. Oh, God. My house was robbed. The police arrived in 30 minutes. And then he was dead. And examined his house. Oh, you need to fix that paint job. What happened? I was sleeping in my bedroom. That's not good enough. What happened? <laughs> what a strange sound from the living room woke me up. Who was it? Did you have a girl over? Aliens. Aliens? I rushed there and saw a short man in a mask. Oh, uh, short? He noticed me, opened the back door, and ran away. Why are your Christmas lights up? Don't worry about it. I believe he got in through the window. <laughs> And stole all my money that I happen to keep in this safe. The policeman did not believe Patrick. He would not explain his lights and it's just, it's super sus. Why? Okay, you want to ask me or you want to figure it out? I want to ask you. 
Well, because the footprints are leading out through the window, but he said he ran out through the door. Oh, you're right. You're right. Man, I'm on one right now. Yeah, this guy just opened Come on, the don't door. play with me with these riddles. <laughs> if the robber had gotten to the house through the window, then the footprints would be facing the other way. Say, why are the footprints facing the window? <laughs> oh. He never ripped off the Christmas lights. That's what I'm talking about, Jake. Oh, what? <laughs> but they're still there. Oh, no. I thought I was on one. <laughs> oh, no. I'm totally off. <laughs> oh, don't you hate that? When you feel so good about something, but then they just make you feel so dumb. Uh, you, you deserve it. Goodness deserve gracious. It. Okay, so <laughs> this one. Rhonda was in the shopping mall. She had already bought everything she needed. And she was having coffee on the top floor of the mall. Seems all right. Hey, Jay. When the building oh, was oh, blown oh, up. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. No! <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Rhonda survived but got trapped under the debris. She heard a rescue team coming. Over here, idiot. Wrong way, guys. <laughs> <laughs> and decided to draw their attention somehow. Just go like, free beer. I'm naked under here. <laughs> Three ideas came into her mind. <laughs> Scream for help as loud as possible. You think that would work? <laughs> Light a lighter. <laughs> Just <laughs> every rose has its thorn. <laughs> 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 or bang on a pipe. Bang on a pipe? Yeah, just ding, 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 ding. Yeah. Bing, 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 bing. What should she do? That's interesting. <laughs> yeah. It's <laughs> really interesting. I'm going to let you take this one since I got the last one wrong. Well, I mean, I'd scream at the top of my lungs. Like, I feel like it would use less energy than banging on a pipe. And, like, the whole, like, yeah, the concert. <laughs> the concert's not going to work. <laughs> Screaming will make her spend more oxygen, so don't do that. She risks running out of oxygen before they find her. Fire will also waste the oxygen, so you gotta just think, 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 and they gotta be like, oh, it's fine. Must be the rats. <laughs> we bang pipes. It'll be we enough bang noise. Pipes. And won't waste too much oxygen. Oh, they bang found pipes, her. Bang pipes, lay pipes. Bang pipes, yeah, she got rescued. lay pipes. Let it go. Alan's ocean liner was shipwrecked. Alan was alone in the ocean. Totally, he, he's exhausted, okay? Suddenly, he noticed three items drifting nearby. A deflated balloon. A stick. Ooh, could whack somebody with that. A pair of jeans. See, this is why you, you can't throw things into the ocean. Look at this guy. He's suffering. Which one can help Alan stay afloat? Uh, the balloon? What? I thought the Blow pants. It. Blow into it, right? Yeah, blow into it. We could blow into the pants. <laughs> blow into the pants? <laughs> yeah, I don't want to get blown into the pants. No, me neither. Blow with a stick. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Obviously the balloon. We're going to go with balloon, right? <laughs> yeah, we're going to go with balloon. It definitely won't bear Alan's weight, especially after all that ship food he ate. He can't inflate Wait. it being in the water. Oh, it's the pants. Wait, huh? <gasps> oh! Wait, why serious? is it the pants? Because I told you, blow Explain into the it pants. to me right now. <laughs> Alan should soak the jeans and tie their legs and fill them with air through the waist. Blow the pants and close wow. it tight with his hands. Wow. <laughs> now he has his own little life belt. That is interesting. I never knew that. Yeah, well, now you know. You learn something new every day. Everyone in this picture will survive. How? Even, even that even, girl in the even middle even that Superman? looks like she's like... <laughs> 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 I didn't even notice him. <laughs> so that is the only way everyone will survive, yeah, guys. Superman. If Superman comes to rescue you. <laughs> oh, goodness. I'm well, never we, going on this <laughs> We learned something useful last time, but like... Yeah. No, I was going to say, the guy on the left, there's two sharks coming for him. <laughs> He's going to survive? No, no I know I know what's gonna happen. Superman's gonna fly over and I'm gonna be like, Superman, drop your pants! And then he's gonna drop his <laughs> pants and make a life jacket. What is going on? There here? are so sharks that's the answer. Everywhere. Superman is gonna be, come save the yeah, day. Yeah, I guess that's a riddle, dude. That's a riddle. That's wow. <laughs> that's a riddle. Yeah, zoom in on Superman. Yeah, zoom in. That's the only way this is ever possible. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there we go. Yeah, there you go. Superman will save them. Whoa, Superman! <laughs> Superman, didn't expect you to make your debut. All right, so if you guys ever go on a cruise, just know that if you're ever in that situation, Superman's coming. Just definitely have Superman on speed dial. <laughs> Otherwise, you might be in huge trouble. Hey, Jay, would you ever be in a movie? Um... It depends. It depends who's in it, what's in it for me, and uh, what I'm doing. What if I'm in it, you get $500,000, and it's really bad. Wow, like how bad? Like really bad, but you only have two lines. You just come in and go, I smelt that, 
Anyways, see what? ya. And then you oh, walk like, away. Cassie, editor, <laughs> cut this. <laughs> <laughs> where, where is this going? <laughs> all, right, all right, all right, all right. So wait, 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 wait. What? Let me get this straight. Your movie idea is I'm getting paid five hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. You're in it. I yeah. just come in and say I've smelt that. Yeah. And then okay, bye everyone. You walk into the courtroom as a surprise witness. They go the the chain of murders couldn't have happened unless somebody smelled it. And then you come in and you go, I'll do it. Cassie, I'll do it for you. Okay, okay. great. Thank, thank you. you. A film crew came to a desert island to make a movie. One day, the leading actress was murdered. The police arrived soon and started the investigation. They got the approximate time of the murder. How did they get that? They put her finger up her butt and they went, oh, she's still warm. Oof. And questioned That's the suspect. <laughs> That's what I do too. Figure out <laughs> how long it's been. That's the move. <laughs> the screenwriter says, I was working over the screenplay all day long. I was making a shooting plan for next locations. I was sunbathing on the beach all day long. I had to get a tan so I look like the lead actress. A stranger asked me for help. And I was with him at that moment. I was walking along the beach enjoying wild nature. There's wild nature there? Yeah, there's wild, wild nature. nature. Like wild, just like natives? No, wild nature. Oh, well, that's part of nature. The natives, right? Okay, I'm saying director. Uh, I'm saying producer. You know why I'm saying director? Why? Wasn't it a deserted island? Oh, but yeah, there would be wild nature on a deserted island. But the producer, oh, really? yeah, the producer what said, what, what did he say again? I can't remember. Oh, I was making a shooting plan for the next locations like no you don't make the shot list before you actually go out to the island and shoot it was the producer that shot list has been done for months you go producer i go director ah ah no he couldn't be helping a stranger there was nobody except for the crew on the island wow totally overlooked that guy well somebody on the set could have been a stranger he might not have known them screw that guy ah ah jay Jay. Yeah, Cassie? Ah, my teeth hurt. Clive had an awful toothache. Ah, fortunately enough, his brother Danny was an excellent dentist. That makes sense. <laughs> he had an extra hour that day and Clive came to him. It was a usual tooth decay, which took just an hour to fix. After the treatment, Clive went home happily. On his way home, he witnessed a robbery. Ooh, big day for Clive. What do those have to do with each other? <laughs> he called the police right away and told them about the robbery, but not about that horrible tooth job. However, the police didn't believe him. Why? Maybe he had some like extreme dental work done and he was like still kind of like, you know, after like wisdom yeah, teeth. Like he still had like, numbing, uh, right? Yeah, he probably called him with, oh, I just saw a robbery. And the cop went, okay, no, you didn't. It sounded like really sloshy when he was talking. Yeah, the cop just hangs up on him and then like 10 more people die. And this cop doesn't look too bright. No, he's not. Clive couldn't talk properly after the treatment. Bang. Yes, Easy. we finally got another one right, Cassie. Finally. You were walking along the streets when sirens went off. You knew that the signal meant nuclear attack! Wow. Everybody rushed to the only bunker. The only bunker happens to be massive. This is gonna be like that Simpsons episode where they're like, all right, who needs to get out? Flanders. <laughs> I'm gonna say that about you. You're gonna be- No! Fine. And soon it was overloaded with people. No! You failed to get in. You were the Flanders. They locked you out. No, no, that's not me. That ain't it. The nuclear bomb was about to explode in five minutes. You had to act fast to survive. No, you're dead. No. There were several ways out. Interesting. Dive into the river. Can you survive a bomb? Uh, I think that the bomb would probably vaporize the river, so I don't know about that one, yeah, Chief. Yeah, 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 yeah. Run away. No, 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 no. Never. Run away as fast as possible. Or hide in a deep pit. Oh. Uh, that one might be the answer. It depends how close the bomb is. Yeah, I think the pit, maybe, is probably the best option. Well, it depends where the bomb is, too, if you're in the water. Running away, obviously, you're gonna die. The bomb is going to vaporize everything within a certain vicinity. I don't think hiding in a pit's gonna help you. And even if it did, like, the fallout's gonna be so bad for so long. That's true. I was gonna say, you might as well hide in the pit, so you already buried yourself when you're dead. <laughs> <That's true. laughs> you're already buried. Nobody has to, like, take care of any expenses. I'd knock on the bunker and be like, hey, uh... And then I'd have like a spelling contest with one of them and then outspell them. Let me in. I know, like I'd knock on the bunker and be like, come on, move. Let me <laughs> come in. on, get out of the way. Come on, squeeze me in. 
You're not the boss of me. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> the blast wave will get you no matter how fast you run. Come on, let me in the bunker. Please. The water won't protect you. Why don't you go swim in the river? It might help. It'll protect you from the blast wave, but not the radiation. Oh, so you're probably going to die. But you might as well try. Uh, sucker. <laughs> you're going to turn into a ghoul. So you'll have to look for a more secure shelter later. Oh, boy. Jake Smith was very fond of animals. At his house, he had a dog, a cat, and a parrot. He spent much time with his lovely pets every day. And then the dog ate the cat, and then the cat ate the parrot. All of his family members were jealous of the pets, feeling they didn't get that much attention that the pets got. Well, that guy's just weird then. One Friday evening when Jake was out, uh-oh, what did they, they do? They killed the pets? No, his favorite no! dog, Petey, was found dead in the garden. No! My guy! That was my guy! I'm mad now! Jake immediately rushed back home. He was furious about this and called a private detective. Oh, Jay's hurt. Yeah, see, Jay's hurt. <laughs> the detective asked Jake's wife about what happened. I was sleeping at the time of the murder. It couldn't have been me. I wasn't putting anything to sleep. I was sleeping. Do you know what your children were doing? Yes. Laura was studying in her room, and Andrew was playing video games, as he does. Alex was swimming in the pool with his friend. Soon the detective told Jake the killer's name. Who killed the dog? Why did they have to kill the dog? Why not the parrot or the cat? Oh my, Jay. Stop that. Ah, uh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Could have killed the bolt. Spared the dog. Wait, wasn't somebody studying? Laura was studying. You don't study on a Friday unless you're a nerd. Well, you never know. No, you don't study on Friday. Well, yeah, she might be a big old nerd. No, she's not a big old nerd. She's you play video games. Nerd. You go swimming on Friday. You don't do nerd stuff on Friday. Why would Laura do it? Because she was jealous. Wow, they're all jealous. Yeah, they're all You know jealous. what? It was the wife. She smothered the dog with that pillow next to her face. Wait a minute. The wife said she was sleeping. It was the wife. Why would you be sleeping on a Friday afternoon? Yeah. I'm yeah. calling wife. It was the wife. 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 Yeah. Oh, it's wife. She killed the dog with the pillow. I know she did. If she had been sleeping, how could she know what the children were doing? Oh, that's why. I thought it was because it was Friday afternoon, but she could have been taking a nap, I guess. No, Cassie. We nailed it. Good for us. If you want to ruin Jay's day really fast. No, no. Don't even say that. Because I know people out there. Oh, okay. I better skip this one then. Oh, no. No, do it. Do it. Just do it. We're already deep in there. He loved her, but he killed her. Why? Because she had rabies. Uh, Because he couldn't get these nails cut. He's like, oh, I, I can get the other three, but I can't get this one. Yeah, she had rabies. And she was going to attack him. That's my final answer. Oh, the dog was turning into a zombie. Oh, Duh. God, get me out of here. How, dare, out how here. dare you, Jay? You should have been able to what think about that. What is this zombie dog stuff? A murder took place on a snowy winter night. Christina was found in the park near her house. Good for her. Near the house, though? Savage. Police interrogated three suspects. It's always three. So, where were you last night? Christina suggested that we walk in the park near her house, but it started to snow heavily at 8 p.m. So you left her there? My yard was covered with snow, and I couldn't go by car. Come on now. Who do you think I am? Okay. I believe him. I believe him. I'm Irene, the sister. I was at our parents' place. I had nothing to do with it. <laughs> I dropped by after work and couldn't leave their house because of the snowfall. So. Okay, first two alibis sound pretty good. Oh, Who's no. What about Sarah? Oh, that's a girl. I came home at 6 p.m. yesterday <laughs> and stayed there until now. I read a book, I cooked a dinner, I went to bed at about 11 p.m., okay? That's a Sarah. Yeah, it is definitely. Who is lying? Sarah. Yeah, Sarah's a good for nothing. She was too. I read a book, I cooked a hook. I duck the duck. Yup. If she hadn't been going to leave home anymore, she would have left her car in the garage, but the car's on the road. Oh. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Yikes. Yikers. You like it when people are crying? Yeah, a girl came home crying. Her boyfriend broke up with her. No. Oh, no, because she had a nasty attitude. She started to break the things. Why are you at all? The telephone with his messages to her. Smash. <laughs> Doink. <laughs> Zinc. Pictures of them together. Flowers that he gave her. Wow, those things are living. I'm deleting him. What broke first? Wait, what? Her heart. <laughs> <laughs> you know I'm, I'm going with that. I'm going with that. That's a good one. <laughs> 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 yes, I got one right. <laughs> what a loser! <laughs> I got one first and last of the day. Got yeah. him. <laughs> All right, Jay, let's go to your channel and do some more. All right, let's do it. Thank you for watching. Make sure you hit push notifications. Hey, Jay. Uh, yes, do that right now, or else. <laughs>